Quick, give me a bag of steroids. <laughs> a bag? <laughs> Just a bag. Oh, I don't know. How do you take them? I don't know. Oh. Which kind? Are they orals? Do we How would I know? Why are you asking me? Uh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yes. What do you think I am? Uh, <laughs> I've heard stories. <laughs>
He also, he has the lat and tricep touching each other. He's got the bicep and the forearm touching each other. That's going to create a lot of stability, and that's going to create some great leverages as well. If he goes back down in the bottom, if his elbow is out, he's going to have a really hard time getting out of that position. Now, some people can bench like this, and some people have lifted very heavy weights that way. Um, but I'm here to tell you that it's not the most optimal way, in my opinion. So again, as he comes down, elbows are going to be tucked in. He's trying to bend the bar. As he goes to press the weight up, he's going to do the reverse. He's going to flare the elbows out, and he's trying to spread the bar apart, almost like you're trying to pull the barbell apart. Where you touch is going to vary uh, in, from one person to the next. It's going to have to do with arm length. It's going to have to do with how much you arch. There's a lot of factors that go into that. But for most people, going right below the nipples, some, some nipples hang lower than others. My nipples are quite downward facing. Are they? Yes. Well, that's because you built the pecs up so well. Yeah, so my nipples are actually, de you know, de depressed. As it doesn't have to do, do with your nipples, an when you lay, when, yeah, <laughs> when, yeah, natural geographic type <laughs> stuff. When you lay down on the bench, do your nipples go out to the side? They actually don't. But <laughs> they don't they touch did, the ground? If they did, that would be an issue. That would be, that would be pretty hot. Eh, it's a little too much gyno going on mm -hmm. there. And so from here again, he's going to push the weight up and he's going to push the weight back towards his chin a little bit. And you want to actually throw your elbows out as you're coming back up. A lot of people get worried about their elbows flaring. Um, that only becomes an issue if your elbows flare too early with the heavier weights because then you have nowhere to go from there. But as you come down, you always want to pull the weights out of the rack, keeping the chest up, keeping your body nice and sturdy. As you bring the weight down, you're going to bend the bar. You're going to tuck the elbows into your side. As you come back up, you're going to throw the elbows out and pretend that you're spreading the bar apart. You're also pressing from just below the nipples, sternum area, chest area, depending on the person. And you're going to press towards your chin or towards your neck. So let's see if we can get Mark to, uh, <coughs> to buy into some of this here. All right. First things first, we want to check the feet. We want to check to see what he's doing with his back. A lot of times, just as in the squat, and same thing with the deadlift, we always want to utilize the barbell to get the best leverages. So he's going to grab the bar, and he's going to tighten up his upper back, go ahead and pick your body up off the bench a little bit, and then pull the shoulder blades down and in. There we go, go ahead and get the feet down. There we go, pull your feet back just a little bit, not that far, right there, and then force the knees out a little bit. <clears throat> there we go, and push this way. Might give him a little lift off he obviously doesn't need a lift off with just 45 pounds but i want him to get the right sensations down yeah, there you go <clears throat> every lifter is going to be different mark has fucking gigantic lats and so he's going to be able to take advantage of this style of bench pressing and, and he may even be better let's have you rack it <clears throat> maybe be better with a closer grip go um yeah go pinky on the ring there and so i had him do that so now his body is making more contact with itself throughout the movement. He's re literally resting his triceps on his lats at the bottom of the bench. And you can push up and back just a little bit. There you go. It's going to be interesting. You got that any questions on that? Really good. Feeling really good so far? Feels very stable. You look um, really strong. Maybe we should add weight or something. I, it, I don't know, man. This seems like my we're, hey, we're out of four out of five. <laughs> we'll see how it you goes. Know, we're gonna take it let's slow. Just, let's just slow down. Yeah, okay? yeah, I mean you made it look like it's 135 or something. <laughs> you know that you're more into making money than you are about lifting. And you lift fake plates. <laughs> I'm and waiting stuff, for I'm so. waiting for the fake weights. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just got them shipped in yesterday for you. <laughs> okay, good, good. And it didn't cost much because they didn't weigh much. Yeah, it was foam. <laughs> got any cues to add to any of that there, Mike? No, it looked pretty good. Uh, just like Mark said, the biggest thing uh, to stay safe, um, maybe not to lift the most weight, but to stay safe, is to really tuck this shoulder down and back as hard as you can. You're going to keep it there the whole time. So it almost feel like you're short arming it and you're just using your hand. But it's the same idea as a row, same idea as a pull apart, face pull. Keep that kind of scapula just tugging each other in the back. Yeah, you're basically trying to screw your shoulder blades into the bench if you kind of visualize that. We're going to add a little bit of weight and uh, hopefully not die. Mark uh, stays intact here. I should be fine at 135. <laughs> Watch how Mike sets up. His feet up are, are up on the bench for now. He's going to put his feet down. He's going to lock his shoulder blades in. As he unracks the weight, he's going to pull the weight out of the rack. He's going to tuck his elbows into his sides. He's going to bring the weight down to about his sternum, just below the pecs, just below the nipples. And he's going to press up and back. As he's pushing upward, he's going to be pulling the bar apart. Up. 
each person is going to look a little different. Everybody's built differently. People are going to use different grips. Some people like to go, some people like to go really wide on the bench. Some people like to stay in close. Everybody's going to be a little different. The sex appeal that he brought to that set was astounding. Uh, a nine or a ten? Oh, it's a nine point seven. Next it's little right shit. The, the, yeah, so yeah I, I feel it's unfair because I'm, I feel like I'm getting too old. Like I, I don't think I can bring the same. I mean, I could try. Do you have Cialis? Because that'll help. Okay. Oh, so we'll we'll teach him about the bench bar later. Yeah, throw that in a blender with some Viagra and I'm all set. In a blender. You, you have to drink it. It doesn't work when you take it as a pill. So bench pressing in sweatpants, yes. full erection. No yes. underwear, right? No underwear. Yeah. No, no underpants. Yeah, yeah. I no. think you guys just explained our bench press with Mike yeah. Rashid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have bench Can I get my... a hey now? <laughs> I didn't have anything to say. <laughs> it's awesome. Get this. There you go. And push, or like squish here. yourself. You know, just, just so it's not so complicated, all we're really trying to do is get the chest up. You know, if you want to just, you want to just break it down in the simplest form, that's really all we're trying to do is get the chest up and trying to leave it there. Yeah, so pull your traps this way and then knees this way. <laughs> Seems to be going. Okay. <laughs> there you go. So head up, back, I guess. I lift my head up, but it doesn't, you know, everybody's going to be different, whatever you feel comfortable with. A smaller athlete will tend to a little closer. be a little bit better with their head down, uh, just because the smaller you get, the more your ribs will move. So you lift your head, sometimes your chest will go down. Sometimes, yeah, you might increase the range of motion a tiny bit. But a big boy will be all right. Now, with someone like Mark, who's got a lot of muscle on him, I could tell him to tuck his elbows as much as possible, and it's not going to mess him up. But sir, some of you out there that aren't as jacked, if you tuck your elbows in too much, you'll be in a weird, awkward position, and you won't have any leverage out of the bottom. So make sure that you're just trying to keep the elbows in tight to your body, but make sure you're not in an awkward position at the bottom. I don't usually go with a thumbless grip, but sometimes through the warm-ups, I'll go with a thumbless grip. Obviously, the weights get heavier, I think. For safety purposes, uh, it's your best in your is it in your best interest to wrap your thumb around when the When I competed, guy dropped six hundred right Woo. on his chest. Went to the hospital, came back, got his medal later. <laughs> I mean, he was raw. Yeah, in, yeah. In this, I mean, he's still just a beast. I don't yeah. remember that. It just I've seen that. I've seen it happen. Chest too. depressed. Well, kid, it. Uh, I saw it happen. USC, to, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, he dropped the weight on his throat. Yeah, yeah. I saw that one. Didn't yeah. he? Didn't he die? That one kid. I think he. I don't he know. He lost his. He uh, fuck, got fucked up. His voice. Wow. Yeah, he got fucked yeah, up. He lost his voice. Yeah. I mean, look. I'll be real. When I'm doing a machine, I'll use a thumbless grip. Yeah, it can't kill you, right? It's it's a it's a. It's a more, I think it's a more natural, slightly yeah. more natural position. However, it does take some pressure off your wrist. Dropping weight on your neck, or your chest, Doesn't or sound anything. Like a lot of fun. So I mean, I definitely recommend using that um notice the warm-up we did too like we just took the barbell first make sure that you're always make sure you don't take it for granted whether you're benching 400 500 600 make sure you always start with the barbell it's a good way to check check everything make sure everything's okay before you start your benching for yeah the day. when you say check everything oh. what do you mean kind of just go over checks and balances of how your body's feeling yeah start to move around the barbell and you're like oh my god my shoulder's killing me well, maybe you got to stretch it more. Maybe you got to warm it up more. And, or maybe you just can't bench press for that particular so day. So here's a question. As a power lifter, you have a set chart of what you're supposed to go up in weights. Mm -hmm. You get to the gym, you don't feel right. Do you push that back a day? Do you do what you can? What would be your advice for that? This is a separate video, yeah. but... Yeah, yeah, no. So the, the, best way to, the best way to handle a situation like that where you're not sure what the hell you're capable of, maybe you're run down, maybe your shoulder's bothering you, I would advise just try something slightly different than anything you tried before. Maybe you do a max set of four with a slingshot on, or maybe you do uh, a max set of three with some chains on the bar. Those are all things that you probably really haven't tried before. You don't even know what your max is, so you automatically end up with a personal best on the day because it's something you really haven't done before. There you go. And it also just kind of, whenever you use a band or a chain or a slingshot or do a board press or anything like that, it uh, also kind of helps you to not think about the actual weight as much as you normally would if you just did a regular bench press, regular squat, or regular deadlift. Two, three. There you go. Let's get you to pause on the chest a little bit. There you go. Good. <clears throat> so one thing a pause can do, a lot of people will accelerate towards their chest. They come down 
kind of like this because they're trying to feel out how their shoulders are and they're trying to feel out how everything's supposed to feel when they're bench pressing. And then when they get to like right here, they'll kind of drop and, and heave. Don't drop that don't drop that don't drop that don't drop that Right. The, pri pop. the prison bench. Yeah, you sometimes the pop the hips up and just move their whole body around quite a bit. So what you want to do to negate that is just simply pause the weight on your chest for a half a second or so and then press into it. On that set, your wrist was back a little bit too far too. You had the weight uh, more in your fingers than you okay. did in your actual hands. So you make sure on That's the next one. I was not paying attention to. the next one, we'll, we'll make sure that doesn't happen. Looks like Mike's the best liftoff man in the game. Goddamn Peyton Manning of the fucking bench press handoff. Wow, we. Between your speed and my vascularity, we're unstoppable. We're on unstoppable force. <laughs> and we did poop at the same time. It was. Yeah, this relationship's getting a little weird a little quick. That's not weird at all. Now you're just jealous because there's only two bathrooms. I know, I was trying to take a dump, but I'm stuck out here. Oh, that's right. <laughs> he wanted to just join us in our, <laughs> you know. My daughter has radar. When I have to go to the bathroom, she jets in there right before me. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, now I gotta go upstairs and shit. We have five bathrooms in the house. Everybody waits that's in awesome. line for the awesome. <laughs> Yeah, right. For the, it's like the fucking little yeah. Wayne song. I got 10 bathrooms, I can shit all day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yet everybody's like, I need to go. I'm like, go upstairs, lazy brat. How did he work that into a song? Amazing. Because he's a genius. That's he is a genius. You <laughs> <laughs> Mike just dropping that weight right, right on his belly like a power lifter. So proud of you today, Mike. <laughs> yep. One, two, three. Up. There you go. Good. Pause. Press. Pause. Press. Up and back. Towards my hand. There you go. Good, last one. Good. Nice. Some people kind of argue that when you push up and back, that you're pushing a greater distance, you know, so. It's a more natural arc though. But yeah, it's just the way our, our bodies are designed. I think it's the right way to bench. Yeah. Oh, wow. You gonna yeah. show them the belt boner? Wow, look at that. <laughs> it's, it's brown. Nice. This, that's, this is how we, do, we leave it like that. This so is that the bench you, boner. When you lay down, it's going to be sticking straight up. Yeah. So uh, is that why this you do that? Us, this will get us likes. I don't the fuck you it's did just that. For, just for being stupid. That's what it's for. <laughs> so I thought there was a purpose, but it's just for being stupid. Well, and likes. Yeah, I got friends that text me all the time like, like what, is that, what does that do? I'm like, it's just a fucking bench boner. <laughs> like, no, but what does it do? It's like, it's, it's a bench boner. It's for fun. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, now I have a new. Looks now, great. Very wow. tan. Yeah. Mark. Hey now. Yeah. Even better than tights yesterday? Way better. Look at that oh, thing. Good, good. I don't know. The tights, the tights were a good touch. <laughs> Easy peasy. I look great. You just need to train that way repeatedly for, you know, months. So I need to eat more pizza and donuts now. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> translation. You know, translation we ate too to clean yesterday. That sushi was clean. Yeah. That was like clean food. You don't want to say clean anymore because the, the flexible dieters are like, what do you put Windex on your food? I'm like, you're retarded. <laughs> I'm like, let's just fucking work with context here. It's context. What if you're eating clean, but you come across some dirty pussy? <laughs> then what do you do? What you if your that? shits are dirty? Yeah. From clean food. That happens, right? I mean, here, you eat a lot of sushi, you're going to shit here's dirty. Here's a question. So you're with a girl for the, you're single, right? No, I got a girlfriend. Assuming you're single. Okay. You're with a girl for the He's first single. time. He's single. You're with a girl for the first time. I've never time. been with a girl once, but this sounds exciting. You're with a <laughs> So you're, you're Theoretically, <laughs> theoretically, so you're you losing get her in, your virginity. You get her in bed. Okay. You flip her over to eat her butt, right? My butt, her butt. Her butt. Okay. Your butt <laughs> and she shaved everywhere, but she has a hairy asshole. Okay. So you get by that, right? Because you're in. Yeah. So is she hot or is she ugly? She's a nine. Oh, she's a nine. But okay. a hairy butt hole As makes you're her like going a six. in, you notice there's a dingleberry. Oh. In the hair. Do you a <laughs> tell her you're not going to do it? Tell her to go shower. B Eat the dingleberry and just go in. <laughs> C, pluck the dingleberry out, then go in. I think there's got to be like an E to this. No, too. there's it's there's A, B, nothing. and C. That's all. There's what other fucking choices there? There's you only see? three types of men in this world: A, B, or C. Every every other person has answered one. Well, one you, of those. Well, you probably ate it. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. no, that wasn't my choice. He's like, ooh, protein. <laughs> Wait, what were my options? So your option is don't Ignore go. It. Ignore it. No, oh, your option go. is don't go. Tell her to go shower. Yeah. Number two. That seems is, like the logical number choice. Number two is eat it. That's number not three good. is pluck it out, then go in. 
Just give it a pluck. I bet most guys would just pluck it. C. Yeah. C is the answer yeah. everybody gives. Yeah. That's what the, that, because guys are pretty gross. That's the normal dinner conversation. Hey, I've yeah. eaten plenty of toilet paper in my time. <laughs> <laughs> don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> We're all gonna die. <laughs> Look at that chin. Which one? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Great minds. <laughs> eating dingleberries. Uh, eating the deal. Three? Uh, yeah. Come on, Mark. Pause it. <clears throat> Press up and back. There you go. Uh, yep. Tight, tight. Drive it. Uh, that was light as fuck. Yeah. All right. Well, because you're getting, you're getting a whole new leverage. That felt good. Away. You know, before you were out in here. Now you're, dro now you're dropping it right here. You're dropping it right on your lats. I can get 405 the way I'm feeling today, yeah, but I won't. You those fucking wings sticking out, buddy. <laughs> I started as a power lift. I still have that in me. And then? And then I have that and a gerbil in me right now. Started as a power lifter, and then you turned into a homo. <laughs> Nothing's gay about posing in tights. I don't know. I mean. And having other men judge you about it. I told the guy at Westside, I was like, I was like, dude, there, you realize, like, he's total homophobic. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, you realize that there's some gay people in power them too. He's like, what? Yeah. I was like, odds are there's like 50 guys in here. Someone in here is probably gay. He's like, fuck that. No, they're not. <laughs> I was like, you idiot. <sighs> Fucking freaks. Oh, that's, that's very nice. <laughs> Hopefully this is just the intro. Oh, I think it's 50 cent. All right, there we go. Don't do it any differently than the rest of them, okay? Still gonna pause it. Ready? Still gonna tuck the elbows into your sides. Okay, here we go. One, Come on, Mark. Two, shit. Easy, good. Nice, dude. Really? Fuck yeah, dude, yeah. this is awesome. That was fast. I need more of this equipment shit. I'm gonna raid your fucking walker right there. Yeah, yeah, whatever you want. I'll buy sushi. That's why we talk about like people, when people talk shit on like wearing a belt or wearing the cuffs, like, oh, it's not raw. Like, like we're trying to do this till we're 60. Like why, why train for elbow pain for a result that's not paying your bills? I need to, uh, the one thing I need is a belt. See, after my last show, I, I, I just switched over to doing most of this shit, but not like heavy. Yeah. I was working my way back up because Bodybuilders, you know, you tend to train, again, you train around injuries instead of addressing the problem. Yeah. yeah. And actually addressing the problem, I'm finally in a spot my body doesn't hurt. Like, I have no pain. Yeah. No pain, except for occasional rectal bleeding. Yeah, yeah, that's a given, right? That's just for my lifestyle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Rich how gang, anybody? No. How, do I, how do I get part of that lifestyle? <laughs> you just have to go to more um, alternative lifestyle bars. Hmm. Bar. <laughs> yeah, three. Proper bench form going on right here. Here we go. Belt. I forgot about the belt. <laughs> Holy shit. To your right. They'll be up there covered in fucking head to toe and neoprene fucking posing. <laughs> and a pair of trunks all oiled up. Those last in there. Let's go now. Come on. Bring the elbows Ready? in. One, two. Come on, Mark. <laughs> Press! Nice. Easy. Good. Ah! What do we got, three? Yeah, why not? The grams are on. You got three cameras on you. That's three yeah. reps. And then one more for me. Oh, do it for the gram. Do it for the gram. Oh, shit. Come on. He's doing it for all the hoes on the DM. Bounce right out of there. I know. That was crazy. That's the big bill move. Woo. Come on, Mike. Nice. <clears throat> oh. Like fucking thunder. Out the corner, buddy. Bring the fucking noise. Oh, too short. You didn't get my fat face. <laughs> I'm gonna have a fucking aneurysm in my fucking arm. It's starting to hurt a little bit. <laughs> it's on the bench. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> it's starting to hurt. And now I got this bench boner. <laughs> God, this gym's just fucking awesome. Oh shit, we're bringing old school shit. It's actually uh, a known fact that no one has ever missed a lift to this song. <laughs> really? You're bringing the, this shit? In the history of the world, no one has <laughs> ever on, missed a, on, a, a lift to this song. Ugh. All right, ready? 
One, two, three. Good, squeeze it. Press. Get up and back, hold it. Rack. Easy. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, buddy. Lightweight. All right. God damn, dude. Now we're getting some weights. I can't have my powers facing two different ways. It's gonna mess you up. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking hurt something if I do that. Let's see if we can get a two or three reps in here. Just squeeze the bar, squeeze your back. A little bit of a pause again. There we go. Yep. Yep. Good. Get up and back. <clears throat> there you go. Good, Mark. <clears throat> yep. Good. That was two reps at 405. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Jesus. So the so. slingshot was invented um, due to me hurting myself many times on the bench press. People don't understand that the bench press is probably the most dangerous exercise out of the big three. You got the squat, you got the deadlift, and the bench press is kind of the sleeper one that no one really ever talks about as much with injury, but our shoulders are very sensitive. I, in my opinion, our bodies are not designed to lay down on a bench press the way yes. that we do it. With a, an external load of 400 plus pounds, it's not the greatest idea in the world, yeah. but it is part of what we do. Can I interject as um, someone who just knows about how stuff gets injured? Um, when you go into natural human movement, if you go into a third world country, they squat, mm -hmm. that's a natural movement. They will literally right. sit there, squat, eat a meal. Squat, pick something up, they don't bend at the waist. When you pick something up off the ground, you deadlift. Right. Not many times in human evolution did we have to lay down and push something off our chest right. in a fix, with a fixed bar. Right, so you might naturally push yourself off the ground, but you know, the, again, it's not matching the amount of weight that we have here. But by forcing your elbows in, it gives you an advantage where you're not coming out here. When you come out here, look at where your shoulder goes. Yep. And that puts you in a very, very precarious position. So you see a lot of bodybuilders, which is my world, a lot of them bench really wide. Yep. And some of them don't get injured just because they're genetic freaks. Well, However, they keep the weights light, or they sometimes shorten up the range of motion. Or they're just freaks. Right. Uh, so, <laughs> so at the end of the day, when you're going heavier, I mean, I just got, you know, this is, this is crazy. Because I haven't benched in over four months. Right. So to do this, this is, this is awesome. Well, it's going to allow you to handle more weight for more reps and more sets. You're getting more overall volume for the day. And on top of that, you're going to stay injury free. So that's the slingshot. Quick, give me a bag of steroids. <laughs> a bag? <laughs> just a bag. Oh, I don't know. How do you take them? I don't know. Oh. Which kind? Are they orals? Do we How would I know? Why are you asking me? Uh, just Jesus Christ. Christ, what do you think I am? Uh, <laughs> I've heard stories. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> How about we go over here? I got 405, I'm cool. I'm gonna go fucking home, never bench again. I'm gonna go out like a champion. I am taking a amazing. slingshot. <laughs> I'll pay you for it in sushi and anal. Oh, really? Well, not after sushi, that could be messy. Yeah. Could we be have to do the All anal the soy first. sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you have wasabi, that could burn a little bit. Mm -hmm. Leave us a like or you're off the team. Leave a comment down below. And if you want to watch other videos from the strongest gym in the West, click right here. If you want the best lifting gear in the game from howmuchyoubench.net, click over here. Right here. <laughs>